Um, talk about Congress. So uh, Congress had a session, um, a session the other day about uh, AI. I mean, everybody's afraid of AI. AI is very, very scary. It, you know, if you've watched Terminator movies, you know that AI will take over the world. It's just a question of when and how many people are going to die in the process. But um, AI is a scary beast. And Congress held a hearing uh, to, to try to figure out what it can do about it. And, and shockingly, um, shockingly, it, it seems like the, the, the senators were actually fairly reasonable with the exception of Josh Hawley, who just is, hates technology and just freaks out of those, these, these things. Uh, we're fairly reasonable about it. Uh, uh, Josh Hawley would, would just be, you know, just, just flip out. Uh, we could be looking, uh, this is Josh Hawley, we could be looking at one of the most significant technological innovations in human history. What kind of innovation is it going to be? Like the printing press? Or is it going to be more like the uh, atom bomb? Now we know exactly how, <coughs> what Josh Hawley thinks uh, in terms of those uh, two alternatives. Hawley then blames like Google search for, uh, for swaying uh, political outcomes and AI is going to be even worse because AI is going to have even more power. And, uh, uh, y y you know, it just, it just it, it, I talked yesterday about the white economic policy and how much they mimic the left. Well, there's, there really is a, um, there really is a strand of, are you guys, uh, are you guys having video problems? Audio breaking up, video breaking up, audio problems, anybody? Huh. Not sure what's going on. Maybe it's because I'm talking about, um, Maybe it's because I'm talking about, uh, what do you call it, AI, and the AI can hear me and uh, is coming after me. All right, so um, it really is spooky that uh, it looks like the Republican Party and many people on the right and, and many conservatives are going to be part of um, uh, the new Luddite movement. So again, uh, learning from the left, uh, AI is going to take our jobs. We saw that uh, yesterday. Uh, AI Jihad, we talked about that on yesterday's show, um, the proposal from the right, from the new right, to engage in AI Jihad, pretty scary stuff. Anyway, the real scary thing, I think, in this hearing was not politicians. Now, that in and of itself is a shock. The real scary part of this was what Sam Altman had to say. Uh, Sam Altman is the CI CEO of OpenAI, uh, ChatGPT4. He founded, the, he founded uh, OpenAI with uh, Elon Musk. It originally was supposed to be a, a nonprofit. It, it's turned it into a for-profit and, of course, got $100 million investment from Microsoft. Um, Sam Altman basically came out and in his opening statement said, you know, he's very positive about AI. He has to be. He, he's involved in, uh, in, in doing it. But he basically says... Um, you know, we can use AI to end cancer, to avoid climate change, to cure the blind. We're working hard. We can do these amazing things. But please, Congress, please, Congress, regulate us. AI needs to be regulated because there's real downside here. There's real danger here. And, um, uh, you know, you, you, you've got to be You've got to help us out. We're not good at self-regulating. So please, Congress, come and regulate us. I mean, this is astounding. It's almost never the case that businessmen go to Congress with a new technology and say, regulate this. Like Zuckerberg at some point said, please regulate us. But why did he say that? He said that because it was clear because they were harassing him and they were saying, we expect this and we expect that and we, we want this and we, we, you know, we go after you on this and we go after you on that. And it was like, just tell me what the rules are. Just tell me what to expect. Here's how you could regulate us to make it clear for us. Now, I'm not supporting Zuckerberg doing that, but at least it's understandable. He, he saw what was happening. He saw what was going on. He anticipated that Congress was going to regulate him. Um, he, he was already hated by almost everybody. And he said, okay, let me try to control the process. Let me try to be involved in the process. Let me try to contribute to this. And I'll propose the regulation. Sam uh, uh, Altman here is, nobody's talking about regulation yet. 
And he's saying, no, we want to be regulated. Please do this for us. I, I'll give you an example of, of an alternative, right? So um, in the biotech field, CRISPR, gene editing. To a large extent, gene editing is potentially more morally problematic, challenging mind-bending in terms of the possibilities than AI is. Gene editing basically may, will make it possible for us to go into, and, and before before a, a, a child is born, alter their DNA, it'll make it possible to alter the DNA of people who are alive in all kinds of ways. Who knows? We might create monsters, we might create soldiers, we might create all kinds of stuff. And so what did the biotech community do given uh, this reality? Also, there was a danger with... Um, uh, the, the tech, that some people would try to start using it on human beings before it was ready and create monsters because of that. Potential for eugenics. But the real danger was that people would start using it before it was ready. So what did, what did they do? The industry got together, sat down, and drew up certain guidelines on how it should be used for now, completely leaving it open that as the technology advances, as our knowledge advances, as the applications advance, we will apply it in different ways as we move into the future and, in, in, and so on. So the industry did it. They didn't run to Congress and say, please regulate us because we're, we're evil and you know, we're, likely to, we're likely to destroy the planet and create something that takes over the world and kills us all. There's something about and, and this is from altruism, there's something about businessmen who, uh, who internalize this idea that they must be evil and they must be bad because they are self-interested, because they're profit-seeking. And, uh, you know, that, that they need to be controlled. There's something about them that accepts that and buys into that and embraces that. And, and Sam, it, it's just pathetic. It's just pathetic. And, and it's not that Sam is particularly a pessimist about AI. Right? Now, there are a lot of issues that uh, AI brings up, and we'll have to talk more about these. Uh, certainly, I think the biggest issue that AI brings up is, um, at the end of the day, it, it, it emphasizes something. It emphasizes even more the question of who owns your data and do you own your own data and I think it's time that we basically reach a point where we create a mechanism by which we as individuals own our own data and then we can decide whether we want an AI to train our own data or not whether AI should be able to train on our song or not whether AI should be able to train on our painting or not for art. The internet is too much of a free fall in terms of once you give, once you give the data to a website, to the, the presumption is it's theirs and they can do whatever they want with it or almost whatever they want with it. And the presumption is even worse because of the third party doctrine that once you give a website your data, the government can access that data. We need to regain control of our own data and Part of that, it should be uh, the Supreme Court doing away with third-party doctrine. But part of it also has to be just a reorientation of how we think about data. And I, I always hoped that blockchain technologies, maybe some of the crypto stuff, would ultimately morph into a way for us to be able to uh, control our own personal data as it goes onto the web. I don't know exactly how that would be, but, but that, I think, is... A crucial and, and to Sam Altman's uh, credit, he did bring that up. Uh, people should be able to say, "I don't want my personal data used to train AI." I think that's absolutely right, but but that's a much broader issue. People should be able to say, "Here's how I want my personal data to be used, and here's how I don't want my personal data to be used." All right. Um, Altman also. Um, argued that uh, he would like to see a government agency issuing artificial intelligence business licenses that then can be revoked. So he wants licensing laws 
over AI. It's just stunning to me that these people, the trust these people have in government, where they don't have that trust in private, private enterprise, private businesses. And the reason is, again, the same reason I mentioned earlier. It's altruism. They trust government because they're not selfish. They trust government because they're in the, for the public good, for the, for the common interest. They distrust business because business is inherently self-interested. It's about profit. And therefore, it can be trusted. The bureaucrat can be trusted. In spite of all of history, in spite of everything that's happened, in spite of all the examples of governments doing horrific things, in spite of our day-to-day -day experience of the inefficiencies and the, just the bureaucracy and just the, the, the nastiness and, and often evil of government policies, government is to be trusted, regulate everything, it's those industry guys, those are the guys you have to really be careful of. Those are the guys you have to watch. Those are the guys who are going to destroy society. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.